So it's the uh, middle of the afternoon and I've been working all day on this project and I think it's kind of an interesting project. Um, so I had the camera set up from the live stream the other day and the microphone and everything was all here so I thought I'd just turn it on and show you what it is. So this is what I've got. Um, well, that's one part of it. It's actually a lot um, if you turn in, tuned into the live stream the other day, you notice these two here, which are the bulkheads, and then uh, which is a bunch of piping. And then I showed how to uh, talked about how to uh, create these pipe flanges. So anyway, now I'm doing the remainder of the project, which are these pipe assemblies, uh, which are kind of turned all over the place, and they twist and all kinds of fittings and uh, other fittings. Uh, so anyway, this is what I've been working on all day, and what I found out is that it is a, um, a good exercise in 3D visualization, um, as well as setting up views and working with things like that. So anyway, these were some of the, the pipes, that, the pipe assemblies that I've made so far, and I'm almost done with them. Some of them were simple. Some of them, some of them look deceptively simple, like this one. But uh, if you kind of look at it, you can see it's it's bent just a little bit. Uh, so that one wasn't as simple as what it may have appeared to be. Uh, another one like that there. So yeah, these were uh, these are interesting components. So it reminded me from a while ago. Somebody had asked. Um, can you do piping with Tecla structures? And I would venture to say that, yes, you can. Um, I've done it here. I've actually done piping for Tecla structures. Uh, one of my first projects I did was uh, some drainage pipe for a bridge. And uh, so it was some pretty good size diameter pipe and, and uh, with a few of these type fittings and elbows and things like that. So, yeah, I've, I've had some experience with that. Um, I think you can absolutely uh, detail pipe effectively with Tecla structures. I think, it, it, to be honest with you, I think you can detail just about anything with uh, Tecla structures. Uh, that's been my opinion since I started, actually. I, I, well, not since I started. When I first got started, I'm thinking, how am I supposed to do beams and, and columns and just the simple stuff? And and then uh, getting into things like this to more non-structural but I, I still contend that if it's made out of metal or concrete, uh, if it is a construction material of some type, any type, you can model it in Tecla. Uh, 